I show you how to add an article that has a bit more style to it. Uh, not too much style, just to show you how to do a few extra things with your articles and um, just how to add a little bit of basic CSS styling to your articles. So let's go to the back end of our website by typing in administrator at the end of our link. Let's go to add new article here. I'm just going to add the title and the alias. That's the name of the page that will go here at the end of the uh, website link. And just make sure it's one word or it has a dash in between, not a underscore. The underscores will be ignored and the word will be smashed together. And we want this published and on the front page. So I'll click yes here. And this one is going to be uncategorized. It's just a basic article about the vacation. And here in the content area, we're going to just add an image. So I'll click image at the bottom. I've already uploaded the um, image here, but if you don't have it uploaded yet, you would just click, go down here to upload and click choose file. Click open. Click start upload. And you see that it says upload complete and you have your upload here. So I'm just going to use the one that I already uploaded though, destination image, and click that. And now you see the path that that image would be going to here. And other and also you can also just go to your FTP and upload um, your images for your um, articles into the images stories directory or folder in your server. So go to insert. Okay, now let's add some Latin, web Latin to it. So let's just get some text. Copy it and control V to paste. And here in the side, we're just going to add some extra parameters that you can add for your article. So, author alias, my name. It will be a public article. And the date created, start publishing today. And you can add a date to finish publishing where it would just stop uh, appearing, but this one will just stay there for now. And advanced parameters. Um, by default, it says use global. That would be for the global parameters for your article. And you can go up to article manager and, and create your global parameters for your articles. Um, right now, I think everything should. Well, you can just go, go through it. It's pretty self-explanatory, these parameters here. Uh, show title. I'll click yes, linkable yes, intro text, show, I don't want the section to show, it's a bit much. Same for the category. Article rating, we can add that for now, so we'll show that. Author name, show, date created. Show, hide, and these are icons that show on the top of your articles. Um, if someone wants to make it into a PDF or print or email the article, they can do that with these icons. And we'll show these for now. And the language is just going to be the um, regular English language, so we're not going to change the language. Key reference, this is another ID for your article. If you want an extra unique ID for your article other than the article uh, reference number. And alternative read more text, an alternative text that you would like to appear um, next to the read more. It doesn't ever seem to really work out for me so well, so I don't know if it'll work for you, but uh, I never really change this part. And metadata, the description and keywords. This is more specific metadata instead of your website metadata. This will be for your actual article page. If you want people to be directed through search engines to that page based on uh, keywords that they put in and descriptions. Okay, so I've input the description and keywords. And robots 
if you want people to find your website, you would just pretty much keep it the same. It's um, by default index and follow. So you want the robots for search engines to index your pages and to follow the links on the pages. So I would just leave this blank and keep it as the default. Um, that's just my opinion. But if you want people, if you don't want this page to be found through search engines, then you would change it to either no index, no follow, or a combination of those two and separate it by commas. And the author is me. And that's it for now. And click apply and preview. Okay, so we have our linkable title and the text and the image. And click on the link and it's just your article. So now let's add a little bit more um, basic CSS to this so that it actually looks more like a blog article. Let's go back. And here we have a button called HTML, and this is where we can change the source code for the article. So I have some code that I've already made, and I'm just going to copy and paste it. Control V, paste, click update. And there we go. It's a little bit better than what we had before. So let's apply fresh. Okay, so now you can see the words a bit better. I've increased the line height and I've loaded the image to the left and I've got a little title here in the span. And it's a lot of text for a homepage uh, article. So we're gonna break this up into um, different pages right now. And I'll explain the CSS in a little bit at the end of the tutorial. So first let's add a read more button here. So I'll put my cursor right here where I want the text to stop and go down and click read more. And now we're going to break it up into a couple extra pages. So click, click here and page break. And I'll put the title and the alias. So page two title. for the table of contents, how that link will show on a table of contents. So click insert page break and just one more here. Insert page break and click apply. Refresh. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Okay, so we got our link up here that goes to the main article, and we've got a little less text here, and maybe we should make it even smaller than that. Um, in the future, you don't want too much text on the home page, um, just enough to make them want to read more. So uh, let's click read more. And now we've got the first paragraph here, the full first paragraph, and um, we can just go to either next or page two, and this is the table of content uh, link text here. So I'll click that, and this is the title. If you wanted to have a different title than what appeared on the uh, table of contents, that's how you would do it. You create the page breaks, and we can go to table uh, page three, and that's it. So and you have the little rating area here, and that's it for. Um, how you would do that. So I'm just going to go back and just quickly show you how the CSS is broken down. Go to HTML. And here I have the image and a paragraph. And I have the style added to the image tag. And the style has the image floating to the left of what's next to it, which is another paragraph. And there's padding. Uh, padding goes top. Uh, top, right, bottom, left. So it's pretty much just clockwise, starting from the top. So there's no padding on the top. Um, there's five pixels to the right, five pixels on the bottom, and zero on the left side. And the next paragraph has line height of two M's. That's another measurement as opposed to pixels. And um, it just increases the line height between uh, each line. Uh, otherwise, it would be so close together that it might be 
difficult to read. Um, but it might have been better if I made it a little smaller. I believe the default is 1M, 1M. Not completely certain, but I believe that is what it was. Um, the font size is 16 pixels, and the font family is Arial. And for the title, the article title, I just added a span just for the title. And um, the color is green, font size is a bit bigger, and a um, serif font, the Times New Roman font for that piece of text. And then it breaks, has a line break, and the rest of the paragraph. And then the system puts in this um, HR line for read more. And then there's just other paragraphs. They're pretty simple. And um, this one has the same thing, the line height with two M's. That was pretty basic CSS um, coding. And that's it, as you can see. Um, there's the five pixel, as you can see right here, there's the five pixels on the right and five pixels on the bottom. And um, there's the title, green, a different font and the extra spacing in the lines. So that's it. You guys are good to go on this. Okay.